Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for more survivalist. Couple things before I go on. Yes, I'll be live today, 3 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to follow me and catch on on the you know, latest news and stuff that's going on around the world, if you have any questions, more than happy to answer those. And if you follow me in my Spanish channel today, I think it's like 1 p.m. Argentine time. I'll be with Pablo Ortiz, the guy that's an economist. He's very much aware of the economic reality that we're going through. So if you follow me in my, in my Spanish channel, we, you can see uh, us uh, talking about stuff going on over there as well. Let's get to this. Look, I, I talk a lot about the practical aspect of survival preparedness over the years. Of course, my specialty would be the economic collapse reality of how that goes down. Unfortunately, it's unfolding in different parts of the world right now, some worse than others. I see UK getting to that point in an unbelievable manner. It's amazing to see uh, a, a country that not that long ago was among some of the highest um, you know, quality of lives and some of the better standards of living going fast, so going down so fast. Really amazing. But that's the kind of thing that I covered in Surviving the Economic Collapse, right? The reality of all of a sudden you have to skip meals, you have to feed your kids. All of a sudden violence is a lot worse than it was. And it's a process that goes on for many years. The stuff that I cover in uh, street survival skills, you know, self-defense, practical aspect of you know, dealing with things that are not working the way it should be. Another aspect of what I consider modern survivalism is this stuff. I don't have a book written about that. Give me a little bit of time. Something will come up eventually. But we are at a moment right now in which we have our most important part of our, of our lives, our families, our loved ones at risk. This is not accidental. This is specifically engineered so as to destroy family, so as to destroy what makes us strong as a society. And it starts with stuff like this. Day five of being a girl, and some of you ladies might remember what happens on day five. Today is the day that we contemplate cutting our own bangs. Here we go. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Before you start yelling at me, I bought a wig with bang day Dylan, but I'm gonna let you cast your votes below. Matters, and I actually I think sometimes simple is good. I already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine, when I wasn't fine. No, it's quite clear you're you're not fine. Um, one of the things that these these people with, with a, a serious disconnection with reality uh, always project is a, a bullshit smile and this idea that you're fine, you're happy, and now I'm happy because I'm living my true self. No, no you're not. Your suicide rates show you're not. Your depression, drug abuse, domestic violence off the chart always by any measure. That all shows that these people are not fine by any stretch of the imagination. Yet we are being forced to say that, yeah, this is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong here. This is all absolutely healthy. None of this involves any kind of extreme mental disorder. No, no, there's nothing like this going on. This is just, you know, just how people sometimes are. It has nothing to do with uh, society that shapes people in a certain way with extreme traumatic events at times and broken families. No, it's all just the way it is. Right, that's what we are forced, and like Meloni, you know, the, the current uh, prime minister of Italy, lucky guys over there in Italy with a, a prime minister like Meloni, uh, she quoted um, th this writer, cannot remember exactly the name, but that basically was saying that swords uh, will be drawn so as to prove that two plus two equals four and that the grass is green, basically. Not, not the exact quote, but you get the idea. We're gonna be in a position, we're gonna be in a world where we have to fight, literally fight at times or have our, our livelihoods at risk be, due to being forced to denying basic realities. So you have this gentleman right here saying that he's becoming a girl and we all have to say yeah. How'd I do ladies? Good? Yeah. Girl power. Day two of being a woman, I'm at the... Another interesting thing, he says, you know, uh, girl two of being a, a girl, a, a woman, but he also says girl two of, uh, day two of being a girl. 
there's always this very weird, very unsettling, you know, connection with feminizing and sexualizing little children, little girls, little boys. You see this with a family-friendly drag. You know, having a family-friendly drag show is like having a family-friendly drug dealer or, or a fr family-friendly predator going after your kids. There's nothing family-friendly about any of this. But always notice they're obsessed with sexualizing little children. They're obsessed with influencing and always being near and close to little children, right? If you don't see a huge red flag going up when you see that, man, you're just not looking carefully enough. Rose Bowl flea market with my best friend and we are wearing... Oh yes, that, that best friend definitely does look completely sane and not at all mentally... Wearing matching dresses and I'm here to buy some femme gorge lady clothes. Let's see what I find. My current style is all over the place, but I just know I like to look fun. Hanging with the girlies. Woohoo! They're not girlies. They're not even real people. They are little toys. <laughs> you see how we are forced to say, yeah, yeah, that's perfectly normal. It's perfectly fine. All of this insanity that you're saying is perfectly fine. And if I say anything else, I'm phobic, whatever, idiotic, you know. My style is all over the place, but I just know I like to look fun. Hanging with the girlies. No, not people, not girls, not gir They're just toys. This is giving Heidi. This is giving. I just didn't know what to put under it. And then I thought I could pair it with some little nude boots. But what do we think? It's simple, but I think. Jesus Christ. You see this dude dressing up and saying, yes, I I'm a woman. I'm a little girl at times, depending on how I feel that day. You know how insulting this is for actual women? I was showing this to my wife. Do you know how insulting this is? I mean, we've gone back in time. This is pre-feminist era where true feminist women that were fighting so as to have equal rights as they, they had the right to and glad for that, that it finally happened. The right of having you know education, having equal rights to men. We're destroying all of that with this insanity. A dude just dresses up like a woman one day, just puts some dress on, and she's the same as an actual woman with all of the beautiful things that it probably has to be a woman and some of the not-so-cool stuff like being physically not as strong as a man, being more vulnerable, growing up your entire life knowing that the average guy is always going to be stronger than you and will be able to physically impose his will on you if there's not a civilized society, society involving men that uphold the law and some basic common sense, then you're vulnerable to people, maybe people not so different from the guy you see here. Growing up knowing that you will eventually go through a process every month where it physically becomes painful for you to even be a woman. This guy has no experience of any of that. This guy has never had uh, a child it, it growing inside him. He never will. How the fuck could he? Of course not. He will never breastfeed a baby, that's for sure. He will never be an, a, an, an actual woman. And it's even you know, insane that I have to say an actual, as if there was any other alternative. Either you're a woman or you're not. You're a guy or you're not. You're a woman or you're not. This insanity that we live in today about talking about, what, fake women and real women and biological women. No, there's only one kind of women. The only kind there ever was, the only kind there ever will be, and that's simply the way it is. If you want to discuss about, no, but that door there, this door here, it could be a table if I put a couple pegs on it and I put it on a you know, vertical position. I mean, it is still a door, right? You're improvising, you're trying to do something else, but a door is a door. Two plus two equals four. And this dude is still a dude even though he says at times he's a little girl, right? But we have to shut up. Ew. Lastly, I bought these obnoxiously large heart rings. Love you, bye. Day four of being a girl and I am exhausted. The hair, the makeup, the clothes, the high heels, it's a lot to keep up with. And I need to learn early on that those things do not make me a girl. It's what's in here that matters. And I actually didn't shave my face today because I was like, Dill, even with your facial hair, you're a girl. And even though I'm having it removed, women can have facial hair and women can have body hair. And that's a beautiful thing. And then you see where this is going. Complete insanity. 
crazy world, clown world, more of like authoritarian world where you're just told to shut up, go along with the narrative, go along with the script and say, yes, this crazy person that now says he's a, he's a girl, that he's a woman, yes, he's absolutely right. And if you dare say anything else rather than yes, sir, you're suffering. You're going to be hurting for your disobedience. That's where we're going. This is what our kids are being taught in school. That two plus two does not equal four. No, it, it equals whatever I feel like. A, a, a million, ten, zero, forty-five, whatever. It doesn't matter. Reality is no longer a thing. It's just how I feel inside here. Do I feel that I'm a you know unicorn? Yes, okay. Uh, I not only that because at some point people like myself that appreciate freedom, liberty as our you know foundational values above everything else. We uphold this idea that you do you, man. You be happy however it is. But this is no longer the case. It's not about this guy being happy, dressing, whatever. No, it's about him imposing his beliefs, his disorder on everyone else, his insanity on everyone else. And this is not just about this person. This is about an entire system that saw how beneficial that was in terms of compliance, in terms of shut up and do as you're being told. If you dare disobey, you will suffer. You will pay the consequences. You will be canceled. You will be you know, unemployed. You won't have a way of supporting yourself and your family if you dare disobey. You know, this is what's basically, I mean, this man, you think he's going to ever have any kind of power, this person right here? You think this man will not be, you know, <laughs> five, ten years from now? They all end up pretty much the same way. They all do. And the more you reinforce the disconnection with reality that they have, you're not doing them any favors. Yes, you're a unicorn. You're, you're, you're flying, actually. No, you're invisible right now. Oh, no, you're not there. It's true. No, yeah, you're a dragon right now. Oh, he's going to be you know, spitting fire. Wow. The more we do this, you think it's helpful for people like this? You think you're doing them any favor? Of course not. You're just going along with this narrative, mostly because you're scared. Because you're scared of saying, dude, no, you're not. You're scared of saying that because you know how it goes. And uh, until we start speaking up, and until we start doing something about it, it will just continue to get worse. They will continue to abuse the power they have into forcing us into saying that, yeah, two plus two does not equal four anymore. You no, know, grass isn't green. It can be yellow at times. I mean, if I burn it, it could be black. If I paint it orange, it could be orange. So it's just a matter of opinion. Reality is a matter of opinion, and that's how it goes. And if you say anything else, we will destroy you. Folks, see you on our next video. Take care.